A clever physics teacher swings a bucket in a 1.12 meter radius circle at a constant speed. That, it's hard to do that at a constant speed. That's why I put clever in there. Uh, what is the maximum period the motion can have for the water to stay in the bucket? Okay, so so here this thing is, right? In a circle and, ooh, I don't know if I can do a red pen dem, uh, demonstration. No, I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for the red pen. Okay, so keep in mind that this water is accelerating toward the center. At the top, it needs to have an acceleration that's bigger than or equal to 9.8. Okay, if that's the case, then it will the water will stay in the bucket. If it's exactly 9.8, the water will sit there motionless for that instant uh, and have no g-force on it. Um, if it's more than 9.8, the water stays in there easily, and if it's less than 9.8, you get wet. Okay, so I'm just going to use I'm going to set the centripetal acceleration equal to 9.8, right? Uh, since it asks for the period of the motion, the period is the t. Right, so let's use the centripetal acceleration formula that has the T in it, shall we? Uh, let's see, that is uh, centripetal acceleration is 4 pi squared R over T squared. Okay, so all we're going to do is we're going to say that the acceleration is 9.8. So 9.8 is equal to 4 pi squared, what's our radius? 1.12 divided by T squared. All right, I think we can do this. Uh, what do we do? I think we cross multiply, right? So let's go 9.8 t squared equals 4 pi squared times 1.12. Then I think we divide by, by 9.8. <laughs> I think my, my computer is getting ready to take off here. All right, so let's do this. I'm going to calculate what t squared is. So I'm going to go 4 pi squared. Whoops. Four pi squared times 1.12 divided by 9.8, and that's going to be t squared. So t squared is 4.511. Right. So now I'm going to square root this thing. So you can go second square root, second answer. Um, and I get that t is equal to 2.12 seconds. Ta-da. Hope you enjoyed this red pen video. They're very rare.